Yo, what's going on guys? Bigfoot back in the fake Lego room because I still haven't got my room uh, ready to build or to make videos or anything like that. So we're out here again. Um, but as you see, I have two of the Series 16 um, Halo Heroes. I know I just reviewed 17, but I never got these. I found the box and I found some of the figures from this series but uh, never was able to secure those. Um, we all know how hard they would come by. Um, and I was able to find two of these on eBay for a good deal, uh, all things considering. And I did look pretty hard to see if these were fake. And uh, to my whole full surprise, I don't believe these are fake. I think these are real. Um, so pretty excited. I have two of them, one to say sealed, obviously, and that's what we'll do. As you see in the background, I also have the uh, um, Hornet Recon, and I'm pretty excited about that. I have that build. I've had that for a while. My local store had a handful of these, and I bought two. One for my father, one for myself. I should have bought another one sealed, but I didn't. Um, and now we don't have them here, which is okay. Um, but I excited to get one of those. So we're going to do a double review. Uh, the UNSC Hornet Recon and the Halo Spartan Hunted figure. Also the fan belt winner. And we also have that new fan belt going on currently with the, I think, Warhog and Mongoose, possibly. Um, I also do have one of the new figure packs, the two Spartan figure packs. Um, I had that packed away because I couldn't find a second one, so I don't want to open it. Um, and I find no real desire to open it just because I don't desire those figures out of my collection. Um, but I do have it for sealed purposes. Um, I bought a Sandy with this. I couldn't find the Warhog that coincided with it or the other figure pack. And I, I'll keep my eye out for that, but I still don't have it, like I said. Um, so... Let's get right into the um, Hornet. Um, it's already built. Um, I've had it for before um, Super Bowl, which is a couple weeks now. Um, and I have had it built. I do like it a lot. It's a cool fig a cool set. Um, pretty small. Um, as you can see, barely fits in the frame. Um, it comes with two figures. A regular ODST, I believe a bullfrog. I think someone said, I'm not sure. If really is a bullfrog from like um, Halo Reach, and it also comes with a specific sergeant, sergeant stacker. I'm not sure what game that's from. To be honest, I'm assuming Halo Three, um, but I'm not sure. Um, I guess here's the back of the box. I should show um, kind of some of the uh, uh, playability uh, functions, some box art. Um, this is. Um, Kind of like a partner build to, I guess the, the figure pack is a partner build with the mongoose. It has the additional parts you can put into that. Um, but I did not find this pack, unfortunately. I really do want it, but I, it wasn't there. It wasn't available at the store. Anyway, back to this. Um, as you see, I have my ODST um, on the side. It is, for me, it was for me quite difficult to get him posed, just how I liked it. And so I'll probably leave him there. Um, but just trying to show him off adequately, adequately enough for you. You can kind of see him. He has camoed uh, thigh plates and forearms. Um, his shoulder pads are painted red. And um, I think I have a little bit of oversplash. Oh, sorry. On his uh, on his chin part of the helmet from the from the visor, but that's okay. Um, no printing on his chest piece, um, which is fine. Um, it does come with the um, ODST backpack, as you can kind of see right there. Hopefully you can. Um, but uh, really cool figure, I really do like it a lot. Um, comes with a regular BR um, in gray. Um, like I said, it was kind of a pain to get him standard how I, how I liked him, so I'm just gonna leave him there. Um, we'll get a Sergeant Stacker here. Um, he did come with a Magnum. I don't know what happened to it. Um, and we'll place that there. Sergeant Stacker is a pretty good, pretty good figure. Like I said, I believe he's from Halo 3. Um, maybe Halo 2, I have no idea. One thing I do gotta uh, shout out is the legs. Look at the thighs, his boots going into his, um, his, um, yeah, his thighs, lower leg. Just looks super, super sharp. Um, kind of a speckled a undersuit, kind of like the regular Camelos undersuit. Um, the head looks pretty good. I was pretty pleased with that, was with his goatee and his eyes and eyebrow. Um, there is a UNSC logo on his hat. Um, pretty centered back, 
nothing special. And then his head, uh, he has uh, no top. So you definitely want to keep the hat on, which is fine. Um, hopefully it should be a better secure fit for his hat um, that way. So yeah, it takes quite a bit of light pressure to get it off. But a pretty solid figure, um, let alone him, uh, the ODST. So I liked them together, a good combo. Um, there's enough space, obviously, as you saw, to fit Sergeant Stacker. There is a printed element for a um, console piece right there. Um, close that canopy. The I think Demarcation Media uh, stated this, is be careful putting the canopy. Um, it is difficult, uh, but as a tight fit once you get it, but be careful with that. I did notice that. Um, this is like uh, kind of like a radar sensor array, and you can position that if you wanted, that little bead. Um, just standard looks fine for me. Um, just have a landing skid there in the bottom to line up when it lands. You kind of see coming in, and it just kind of keeps itself upright. Um, there are two fins in the back um, that can um, uh, move on each side, as you see there, um, here and here. Um, as you kind of see, these move, the uh, propellers, they move with the actuator inside. Um, you can kind of see the bar there that's supposed to um, get them to move. There are little flame bits, um, translucent blue little flame bits to um, f show that it's flying. Um, some bars here to show off that the connection points for the legs. Um, um, pretty standard, some UNSC printing, printing here and on the fin. Um, two chain guns on the top. Um, I think missiles are supposed to be shot out of these. Uh, there's no spot for that, um, probably imagination. The only thing that I don't like is you can see the bar right there um, and that yellow piece. And that's how it's supposed to go. I did double check. You can see on the box also that's how it's supposed to go. Um, wasn't impressed with that, but it is what it is. Um, overall, pretty solid. Pretty solid little horn. I don't have the other one. I should have bought it. It was super cheap on Amazon at the time, and I should have purchased it when I had the chance. Um, but now I, I just missed it. And I think there's a pretty big size difference comparatively. I think I think demarcations... Um, compared him, but I don't remember to be honest who did, um, but I suspect it to be him. So now let's get on to the hunted figure. I'm sure you guys have seen the hunted figure be reviewed already, and uh, I haven't actually, so I'm pretty excited. I just wanted to find which one was the damage box. Um, get this a little bit lower, that way we can kind of show you. So obviously you have your pull tabs, pretty standard for the last couple of years of uh, Halo figures and there's nothing in that bottom piece so just the top part just the um, concussion rifle I can't remember what that's called I think it's called concussion rifle um, but just uh, the plate the figure and the rifle uh, let's see if I can get the paper out sorry my tripod I'm trying something new my tripod's kind of between me and my legs so Oh yes, that's right. So I forgot the figures who was in here. So obviously we have the hunted figure there in the middle. I did find Kelly. I don't believe I opened Kelly because there's only one of her. And then um, Hudson. Is that what his name is? Yeah, Hudson. I think I have one of him. I might have two. I might have purchased two of each to open one. I cannot remember to be honest. And then the Spark Mark 7. And then the Skirmisher. Uh, I did hide him at one point to try and get him, but it was found and purchased the next day. Um, and I, they were there were none of these skirmishes, which was unfortunate because I wanted a couple of those. Um, but it is what it is. We all know how difficult it is to to get these figures um, from series um, 16. So you can kind of see. I'm going to show real quick the hunted helmet. There is a separate little plastic piece there that you have to uh, attach. Um, but I think it's. Yeah, it's already been attached here, but is it detachable? So let's get him. I did look in the pictures when I bought it that to hope that there was no QC issues, and it looked like there was none, so I was really happy with that. And looking at it now, 
I don't see any QC issues right off the rip. Oh, possibly the right arm. Oh yeah, I think the right elbow joint, or you're right, my left, the actual figure's left. Um, arm is possibly QC'd, but it's okay. I just have that second one. Um, those are a little stiff. Sorry, I'm just trying to um, get a feel for it. Um, but you can see the shotgun shells on the chest are painted. It's kind of crazy if you look at it because you have the red and the gold for the uh, primer area. And then there's the green printing on top of it for the holder, which is just insane. Um, the blue markings sporadically through the chest piece in three spots. And then also on the thighs, there's more um, printing on the thighs on the left side. And also um, butt pad pr uh, printing, which is surprising right there. Um, super solid. Um, printing on the helmet looks pretty solid. And then also you have that helmet attachment right there. Um, looks super solid. Obviously you have the, the knife on the chest. But just a solid figure. Super excited to have him. Um, I was really bummed. I, I told my dad, uh, who lives in another state, to try and find this figure if he can just try and try and and thankfully he doesn't have to keep searching because I have it now um, but obviously you have the printed um, stand Spartan hunted haunted sorry and um, super cool uh, the concussion rifle is printed it is printed pretty nicely um, really good paint applications on that just looks super solid that's one of the highlights of having the um, the halo heroes line is amazing figures and then also amazing weapons to add to your collection so that's uh the hunted figure i was happy to try and review them together because they kind of matched uh, camo wise um but yeah that's the figure and the hornet set so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review um if you're new to the channel uh if you like doing reviews or modifications of sets lego star wars sets whatever it may be i like doing that so if you're new to the channel Make sure you subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.